Well, Tom Brady's path to Super Bowl 55 got off to a bit of a rocky start in Tampa. Remember that story when he was kicked out of a local park during the lockdown, right when it all started? And then he had another snafu that made headlines. He walked into the wrong house, like walked right in. As Fox 13's Josh Cassio shows us, the owner of that house says um, it's a guest that he will never forget. The day the goat came through his front door. It's not every day. When I was just hanging out in the kitchen and I was on my computer. That someone breaks into your house. And I see the doorknob turning and I was like, I remember sitting there, I just like froze. I was like, oh my God, man, somebody's coming to my house. It's even weirder when that intruder is Tom Brady? I see this guy walk in and he's just like, he's like a good looking guy. I do this on purpose because this is exactly what happened. He walks in, good looking guy, baseball hat, and he's got like two duffel bags. And he just kind of like, he doesn't even say hi first, he just kind of goes like this and he sets them down and he just like looks up at me and he's like, what's up, man? This was back in April before the season started. Brady thought he was walking into offensive coordinator Byron Leftwich's house, which was actually next door. He goes, I'm supposed to be at Byron's house. And like right then my entire body like froze. Like I'll never forget it. I was just like, I was like, my body wanted to be like, Tom, Tom, Tom. Tom, Tom Brady, no, like, you know, I was like freaking out. And, uh, but my body literally, I could not gasp the air to say his name. I'll never forget it. And then he just goes, I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. And he just like grabs his bag and he's just gone like lightning. And just like that, David Kramer's unlikely minute and a half encounter with Tom was over. But a tale like this one never really ends, does it? How many times have you told this story at a bar? A million, to the point it actually hurts sometimes, <laughs> but but it's like a lifelong memory I will always have. And then to see him go all the way to the Super Bowl is phenomenal. It's the biggest weekend of Tampa. I've been here 14 years and I've never seen anything like it. And who would have thought his path to the big game would run right through David Kramer's front door? I wasn't scared because he looked so nice. Like, thank God I didn't shoot him. Yes. Thank God for that. Josh Cassio, Fox 13 News.